Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can turn on and off dynamically um, annotations. Now, uh, the genius behind this, or the instructions or how I figured this out, was following Joshua Milligan's article on VizPainter. It's uh, part three called Dynamic Annotations, and you should see his name and website um, there in the footnote. So what basically he talks about is that for each annotation that we're going to add, it's a, it's a convergence of all the dimensions that are on the row, the, the columns, um, and on this mark card here. So what we're going to do is we're going to introduce another dimension that doesn't actually show up anywhere. You'll see what I mean in just a second. First of all, we're going to create a parameter. I'm going to call this notes. This will be allow us so that we can actually uh, turn it on or off. Zero. We're going to change this to none. To show. Okay, and then we're going to create a dimension, a calculated field. We need to create. Uh, let's see. I call this annotation code. And this needs to be based on the, this needs to be a dimension. You can't add it as a parameter, it has to be a dimension. So we're going to show the notes, and then we're going to bring the annotation code over to the details. You need to change that to a dimension. And now, um, now we're ready, we'll set the notes to show. There's nothing there. But now we can go in and we can add the annotations. Uh, so you can leave it as the default here, which is what you would see normally if it was a tooltip. But the real power is that you can add whatever you want in here. I know you can do that with tooltips as well, but OT authorized. And so now we know why this was so high. Uh, here, we'll add another annotation. Make sure you're doing it to the point. I mean the mark, not the point. And this is going to be uh, sales realized prior month. So that when somebody comes to look at this graph, I need to move this a little bit, they can quickly understand what those points are. Now, maybe when you first show it to somebody, you don't want to show them, so you would turn it off, set it to none. And you can talk this here, or if there's certain asked questions and you can't remember what the answers are, you click it to show, and the annotations pop up. You could add more codes in here instead of just none and show. You could have none, uh, maybe quality related points, uh, maybe delivery issues, sales issues. And so you could look through this screen and you could uh, quickly go through the annotations that were for quality for delivery, um, for scheduling, for whatever. Hope you can use this and uh, enjoy.